Welcome. This video deals with the answer to question 4 of my second quiz on global warming. It deals with the problem of which year is the warmest on record. Some claim it to be 1998, while others say it is 2005 or 2010, but most of the global warming deniers say it is 1934. So let's see who is right. First we should remind ourselves what the question was. Question 4. True or false? 1934 is actually the warmest year on record. So what was going on in 1934 to make it such a hot year? Well, Cole Porter's musical Anything Goes was considered to be pretty hot. Something shocking now heaven knows Anything goes we were in the middle of the Great Depression with 26% unemployment, starvation wages and protest marches. In other words, rather like things are today. President Roosevelt had started the New Deal and instituted a huge program of public works to get America back to work. Exactly what we're not doing enough of today, but that's another issue. Several high profile criminals were put out of work in 1934, in rather grisly ways. Bonnie and Clyde, Pretty Boy Floyd, Babyface Nelson and John Dillinger. Mao was starting a political movement in China, as was Hitler in Germany. But the big story in 1934 was the Dust Bowl, where nearly one million acres of farmland was destroyed or damaged by drought, winds and high temperatures. The main area affected was the Midwest, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas and Colorado. So it was warm back then, but was it the hottest year on record? Till an era was found in the data from some of the US climate monitoring stations, 1998 was thought to be the warmest year by one hundredth of a degree. The widely publicised error that when corrected dropped the 1998 temperature by two hundredths of a degree, promoting 1934 back to number one. So the answer to question four would be true if it were not for one minor detail. Here we are only talking about the continental United States. Not even all of the United States. Throw in Alaska in 1998 gets back to be number one again and by quite a large margin. But we are discussing global warming. When we look at that data, 1934 does not make it into the top 10. In fact, it's the 44th warmest year, with 2010 and 2005 in the first two spots, and then 1998 and 2009 tied for the third place. How much difference did the correction to the US figures make to the global temperatures? If you can see the difference in this plot between the original and the corrected numbers, you have better eyesight than I do. When someone in a global warming debate starts talking about 1934, they are trying the old substitution trick on you. They start talking about one thing, global warming, and then in mid-argument switch subjects to US warming, and act as though nothing had happened. You will now be smarter than them and be able to call them out on it. But in an attempt to undermine the science of global warming, they will try anything to delay action on the problem. So as far as they are concerned, anything goes. Hey all you chills and you joes, get yourself up on your toes, it's apropos. If you enjoyed this video, look at some of my other quizzes. The links to the quizzes and the answer videos are listed in the description box below. I've also done a couple of other videos on the sun which you might enjoy if you're into astronomy. Keep safe, bye for now.